Hello, my beautiful people. You all are welcome once again to Believer's Love World Message Studio. And if this is your first time coming across this channel, I don't want to miss messages like this that we're posting on this channel. And kindly do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so I'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And if you like what we're doing on this channel, that you want to support us in any way, or you want to buy us a coffee, then kindly use the thanks button below. We'll gladly appreciate it. So on this message today, we're going to be talking about how to send your angels to get money from you for you and i'm a man of god when the quiz or your kill me is going to elaborate more on that topic so i urge you all to watch this video to the end and if you have anything to tell us about this video how this video has been of help to you then do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section and do not forget to share this message as well for it will help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it will also help this channel to grow and thank you and keep watching Story told by R. Roberts. And on this occasion, he said that the Lord Jesus appeared to him, and um, just behind him was an angel, a great, tall, huge fellow. And the Lord, you know, talked with him a, a while, and then he said to the Lord, Who is he? And the Lord said, That's your angel. So that angel had been with him, but he never knew, never saw him. But of course he would have known through the word of God that he had an angel, but you know, they know this guy was the one. So he asked the Lord who he was, and, and the Lord said, that's your angel. He says, he's, he's waiting for you to give him some instruction. And at that time, he needed certain finances, and um, they wanted to get some people to move into some property. You know, there's a lot of other detail. But then, uh, the Lord said, go ahead and talk to him. And the angel said to him, dispatch me. In other words, tell me to go. He was supposed to go and cause people to do certain things. Which he had been talking to the Lord about. And then he said, I dispatch you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and the angel took off. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 13. Have you seen it? Read verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. Okay, you know, many people always like to concentrate on the wrong side of scriptures. <laughs> if some people read that one now, it's only the lower part they will see. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, they won't see that. And have no charity, that's where they start having problems. I have no charity, I am become a sounding brass or thinking, they won't forget their, half, their second half. <laughs> the first half, they have skipped. But look at, there's a blessing there in the first half. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, Lord... You mean I can speak in tongues of men and of angels? I didn't know that. Glory to God. That's what it's about. So you do speak in tongues of angels. You know, somebody one time said, How can you say an angel appeared to you? What language does angel, does, uh, do angels speak? How can you say God spoke to you? In what language? And he was laughing. In what language? He said, In what language? <laughs> God is a spirit. And he can speak any language. And you will hear him in any tongue. Irrespective of what he speaks. If he's talking to you, you will hear him. In whatever language you understand. That's not to say that's the language he spoke. But you will hear him in any language. That's the power of God. That's how come the Bible tells us that Saul of Tarsus, on his way to Damascus, when the light of God shone on him and those who were joining with him, and then the Bible says that they fell to the earth. He says, we were all falling to the earth. He said, I heard a voice speaking in the Hebrew tongue. He heard it in the Hebrew tongue. Then he says, but those that joined with me heard the voice, but didn't know the meaning of the words. And yet those people understood the Hebrew tongue. 
Those are the kind of people that would have heard Paul saying that Jesus spoke to him. They'll say, ah, ah, that guy's lying. We were all together. <laughs> they say, we were all together, Paul. Why are you lying? Why are you deceiving people? They say, we were together. We had one sound. It came from up. It's true, it's from up. Go, 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 go. That's what they would say. They said, nobody heard what it meant. But I remember that when we all got up, Paul was blind. <laughs> That's all they remember. You remember when Jesus, the Bible says, the Father spoke to Jesus from heaven. And others looked around and said, did you hear that? They said, they heard that. They said, it was thunder. <laughs> Another person laughed and said, maybe an angel was talking to him. Because he seemed to be answering. They said, maybe an angel was talking to him. It was thunder. <laughs> But the Bible says, God spoke to Jesus. Two friends were sitting together. An altar call was given. And the preacher said, God is talking to you now. To give your heart to the Lord. And one of them got up. The other one said, come now, where are you going? <laughs> he said, didn't you hear him? God just spoke to me. He said, God. Ah. You have joined these deceivers. The guy went out, gave his life to Christ. The other one was waiting. Where was we? Look, we were together. He said, God spoke to him. I heard what he heard. It was not God. But God is a spirit. He talks to the spirit of man. So don't try to figure him out with your ears. He talks to your heart. The Bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Searching the inward parts of the belly. Glory to his name forever. Are you still there? Okay, thank you all for watching that wonderful episode. And I believe you've been blessed by that message. And if this is your first time coming across this channel, I don't want to miss messages like this or posting on this channel. Then kindly do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so I'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and if you like what we're doing on this channel that you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee then kindly use the thanks button below we we'll gladly appreciate it and please do not forget to share this message as well for it to help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it also helps this channel to grow thanks for watching once again and stay tuned till we see you next time we love you and god bless you